Swatika. My name is Pratipat Malamong. Today I will be uh, showing you how to do uh, basic natural grips in uh, badminton. The natural grip is taught two ways and the two methods are the pinch and drag method and the other the first method is the pinch and drag method and the other uh, method is the handshake method both of which are great but um, the way I teach it is that first before you grip the racket you have to look at the grip itself and if you look at the grip itself you'll see that um, here I have my uh, training racket and if you look at the grip itself you'll see that there's a flat side there's a flat side that corresponds to the face of the racket which is red here on the training racket and then the white here corresponds to the edge of the face of the racket and in between the flat side and the edge side is what we call the beveled edge Okay, um, badminton grip is a two finger grip it is primarily with your thumb and your index finger. Your thumb lies, uh, the edge of your thumb lies on the flat side while your index finger uh, lies on the other flat side like this. So there should be some light in between there and there. The other three fingers are just there to support. So this is the badminton natural grip. Okay. Um, okay. Um, what this allows you to do is the way the grip was designed is that it allows you to know where the face of the racket is without having to look at the face of the racket just by the feel of your uh, thumb. So you know if it's up, down, or if you're on the edge, beyond the bevel, or flat. Okay. Um, it also uh, increases, the reason for this grip is that it also increases the power that is generated into the shock. And by that, I mean the badminton swing is two swings. It's from right, the outside to the inside, which is called pronation, and from the inside, center your body to the outside, which is called supination. So this outside movement, inside, is called pronation, inside, the outside, pro, uh, supination. And that just basically describes the rotation of your forearm. And this is how it's used in badminton. Right? Without going through the whole um, whole uh, stroke production, this is just demonstrating the the forearm pronation here. If I was to stand here, and if you watch the little red stripes, I take the racket up and I pronate my forearm. You see the ridge will go even and through. And this movement, and this movement is described mechanically um, by described mechanically as a gear ratio. What a gear ratio is is this. Let's see. This is my form. the diameter of my, or the circumference of my forearm. As I rotate my forearm, as I rotate my forearm, this movement here is being transferred into the head of the racket here. 
therefore increasing speed. Speed meaning if I move from point A to B in a small circle in my forearm, I am also moving from point A to B in that racket head, but it's moving at a much greater distance. So same amount of time but greater distance equals speed. So this rotation of the forearm there from here to here is where the speed is generated into the racket head and then the follow through. This is also true with the backhand, the supination from inside to the outside. So it looks like this. From here, if you follow the red to here, Oops. from here to here, here to here. You see that slight rotation in the forearm mm -hmm. is what gives speed to the racket head. Boom, and then the follow through. Okay. Uh, there are couple of common mistakes um, when people start out and that they think the power is in the wrist snap. It is not true. Uh, the wrist just dictates the angle in which you hit the shell. For instance, if you contact the shot here with your wrist slightly bent and the racket behind your forearm, you're more than likely going to hit something like a clear. If you contact it flat like this, straight up and down, you're going to hit a flat shot. And if you contact with your wrist slightly bent, you're going to hit a down angle shot, a drop or a smash. Okay, so the wrist dictates the angle here, here, and here, while the power is being produced by the rotation of the forearm like this what the proper grip generates it into the into the racket head. As a side note, um, let me go over the different types of grip they have since we're looking at the grip. Uh, this is of course the natural grip with the edge of your thumb here and the edge of your index finger. Three uh, fingers to support. This is the natural grip. If you move your thumb and index finger to the beveled edge, this is uh, called the beveled grip or the backhand grip. This is useful to keep the racket face uh, perpendicular to the court as you're hitting the backhand. Otherwise, if you have the natural grip, you might slice the shuttle. I don't know if you that way or with the bevel grip. Okay. Um, the edge grip is usually mo mostly used for a front court like this kind of movement with this movement in your forearm and uh, snapping these three fingers like this. There's also a this is called panhandle. I'm not sure if this is called the panhandle grip or this next grip is called the panhandle grip. I call this the edge grip and I call this the panhandle grip. And the panhandle grip is used like the edge grip which uh, is for a front court play which means you move your forearm like this and you push with your thumb as well as snap with these three fingers for front court play. Boom, 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 boom. Or the edge grip. Boom, 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 boom. Okay? Uh, I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.